Hello, my darlings. Welcome back to another edition of Throwback Thursday, where we go back in time, you know, refresh your memories, bring back that nostalgia and take it deep down into memory lane. Today, we're going to be focusing on one of the most beloved genres that kept families glued to their TV screens every evening. Soap operas. If you don't know what I'm talking about, are you even a person? There's no way you don't know what soap operas are. These are Nigerian shows that we used to watch at home with our families. You know, you're waiting for eight o'clock to reach. Let us watch this show. You're waiting for seven o'clock. You just hear that, whatever the tune is, and you're running from the kitchen, you're running from everywhere, just because you want to sit down, watch it together, laugh. There were, you, we were entertained. We were genuinely entertained by this, by this genre. We were entertained. They were cultural phenomena that reflected social issues, humor, and the drama of everyday life, of our everyday Nigerian life. You know, we know when you're watching something and then you can just relate to it. This is what these shows did for us. Now, let me take you along and take you back memory lane. And I can't wait to hear the oohs and the ahs. And I, oh my God, I remember that scene because you're going to remember. During the late 80s and 90s, Nigerian television saw a surge in the popularity of soap operas. These shows were a staple in households, providing not only entertainment, but also valuable life lessons and a sense of community. The characters became household names and their stories sparked discussions in living rooms across the country. Let's take a nostalgic look at some of the iconic soap operas that defined this era and see where the stars of the show are now. Now, first on my list is Binta and Friends. If you didn't watch Binta and Friends, you cannot be talking to me because you're clearly not my mate. I mean, I'm not your mate. <laughs> Binta and Friends was a captivating children's drama that aired on Nigerian television. It revolved around Binta, a young girl and her group of friends as they navigated the challenges of growing up. The show touched on important themes such as friendship, family values, and education, making it a favorite among young viewers and their parents. Now, where is the star highlights? The star highlights of Binta and Friends is Uche Onwemele. Then, Uche Onwemele played Binta and the main character whose charm and innocence captivated audiences. You had to have loved her. Now, Uche Onwemele has since moved on to pursue other interests, but remains a beloved figure from the show. Next is Papa and Jasko and Company. Eee, I can't sing the song, don't come for me. <laughs> this comedic soap opera created by Wale Adenuga Production, Nigeria number one, oh my gosh, became an instant hit due to its hilarious characters and relatable storylines. The show followed the antics of Papa Ajasko, a bald-headed man with a voracious appetite. His nagging wife, Mama Ajasko, and their mischievous son, Bobo Ajasko. The series used humor to address social issues and impart moral lessons, making it a beloved classic. Now, the star highlight of Papa Ajasko is Papa Ajasko himself, whose name is Abiodun Ayoyinka. Then, Abiodun Ayoyinka brought out the character of Papa Ajasko to life with his comedic timing and distinctive bowed head. He was known for his bowed head. Now, Ayoyinka continues to act and is involved in various productions, maintaining his status as a comedic icon in Nigeria. Next is Checkmate, created by Amaka Igwe. Checkmate was a groundbreaking soap opera that delved into the lives of the upper middle class Hotrop family. The show tackled themes such as corruption, family dynamics, and love, and it featured an ensemble cast including Richard Mufed Damijo, RMD, Ego Boyo, and Kunle Bamtefa. Checkmate was praised for its sophisticated storytelling and production quality. Now, I mean, talking about corruption, family dynamics, and love is exactly what we're going through right now for, so for a soap opera for a movie of that time to still be talking about you can now see the vision as to why people are sitting down in their living rooms with their families and watching now the star highlights richard mufed damiju who go who went by the name shegun kadri then rmd played the suave and ambitious shegun kadri a role that catapulted him into fame i mean if you don't know who rmd is now shame on you first of all because he has gone so far now RMD is a celebrated actor and politician known for his work in numerous films and his contributions to the entertainment industry. Ego Boyo and Hotrop. Then Ego Boyo portrayed the strong and intelligent and Hotrop. Now Ego Boyo remains the influential figure in the Nigerian entertainment industry 
working as a producer and an advocate for creative arts. Next is Fuji House of Go Motion. This comedy series, a spin-off from Checkmates, portrayed the chaotic life of the Fuji household, led by the polygamous chief Fuji and his numerous wives and children. The show humorously highlighted the everyday struggles and rivalries within a large blended family, resonating with many Nigerian viewers. We already know in this part of the world, in this Africa, a lot of men take you know multiple wives you can have one man four five wives six what's the six children 11 15 children and you know how chaotic it can be now imagine this man cannot even provide everything is just chaos basically the star highlights of the show kunle bamtefa chief fuji then kunle bamtefa portrayal of chief fuji was both hilarious and endearing now Bam Tefa continues to act and is revered for his versatility and contributions to Nigerian television. This is Super Story! Wale Adenuga again! Super Story is another significant soap opera that, cut, that has captured the hearts of Nigerians. Each season presented a different storyline based on true life events addressing social issues such as poverty, betrayal and love. The show's tagline, were nothing but pencils in the hand of the creator, became iconic, emphasizing the human experiences on predictability. The star highlights Shola Shobowale. Then, Shola Shobowale's performances in various Super Story episodes showcased her incredible acting rage. Now, Shola Shobowale is a highly respected actress, I mean... That name shakes ground. <laughs> Celebrated for her roles in films like King of Boys, where she continues to deliver powerful performances. As we wrap up this nostalgic trip down memory lane, it is clear that Nigerian soap operas played a pivotal role in shaping the television landscape of the country. These shows were more than just entertainment. They were cultural touchstones that brought families together, sparked conversations, and provided valuable lessons through their engaging narratives. Whether it was the heartwarming friendships in Binta and Friends, the comedic escapades of Papa Jasko and Company, the dramatic twist of Checkmate, the family dynamics in Fuji House of Commotion, or the compelling stories of Super Story, each soap opera left an incredible mark in our hearts. Wow, the actors who brought these characters to life, they have evolved, they have grown. Because I mean, you and I have grown. When we were watching all these shows then, we we're much more younger, maybe like 10 years ago, five years ago, six years ago, obviously more than even five years ago, 10 years ago, we, we all watched these things together and you have grown now. So they have grown as well. Continuing, they have continued to contribute to the entertainment industry in remarkable ways. They remind us of a time where television was a communal experience, you know, whereby you could relates you understood what what was being said you understood what they were trying the message they were trying to pass across and their legacy continues to influence nigeria entertainment today there are lots of other you know tv programs that are coming up that families still sit down in the living room to watch together you still want to watch but then these are the like these were the genesis of it so let us raise a toast to soap operas that have defined an era they have given us you know such lovely memories that now that we're, I'm actually going back, I'm like, wow, we have actually grown. We saw all of this, you know, we had different thoughts and now they have one way or the other. You know, when you hear something, you watch something, it shapes who you are. Well, until the next time, keep on cherishing these nostalgic moments that I have brought to you today, celebrating Nigeria's rich history, Nigerian television rich history. And I cannot wait to see you in the next show. Bye for now, guys. Eh, 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 wait, you think I'm going to go? If you haven't subscribed, liked, shared any of my videos before, share this one now. What is it going to take is to just copy and paste the link elsewhere? You want to keep me for yourself alone? No, no, we don't want to do that. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. And I can't wait to see you on the next one. Bye.